Contact forms are a simple way of communicating with visitors and expanding your email list. But how do you create one? In this video, we'll show you the process of setting up a simple contact form using WordPress. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. A contact form is an element on your website which allows viewers to communicate with you by filling out fields like their name, email, subject, and text. You can create a form either through coding or content management systems like WordPress. For either of these methods, two separate components are needed. The front end, which is the actual contact form from which the information filled out will be sent, and the back end where these entries arrive, which can be to a database like MailChimp, to your email, or both. In this video, we'll follow the process of setting up the front end with WordPress. Let's divide this process into two parts, creating the form with a WordPress plugin and embedding it to your website. Let's work on this first one. Once in the WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins and Add New. In the search bar, type WP Forms. To set up the front end of your contact form, you'll use this plugin, Contact Form by WP Forms. So make sure you install it. In a future video, we'll see how to configure the back end, and we'll be using this other plugin, WP Mail SMTP. So install that one as well. Activate both plugins and you will be redirected to the Plugins List page. Click on Settings for WP Forms, and let's get started. Now let's focus on creating this form. Click on Add New on the left menu, and you'll be given several template options. I want to work on my form from scratch, but you can also select a simple newsletter or suggestion form depending on what you're looking for. I'll choose a blank form. Since I have WP Forms Lite, I can only add these eight standard fields, but they are all I'm looking for to create a simple contact form. If you want to unlock these fancy fields, you can upgrade to WP Forms Pro. Great, so just click on the fields you want to add. I'll click on name, email, and paragraph text. You can also change the placement of any of these fields by dragging them to the right spot. I'm not loving the wording here, so I'll click on Paragraph Text and change it to Message. Now click on Settings. Under General, you have the option to edit the form name, Description, CSS Class, Button Text, and Processing Text. The only thing I'll do here is change the form name to Contact Form. Done. Now click on Notifications. Here you can edit the send to email address or leave it as the one your WordPress is linked to. Just keep in mind that this is the email account where you will be receiving all your form entries. You can also edit the email subject so that you can easily recognize them in your inbox. I'll switch to New Contact Form Entry. Then click on Confirmation you'll be able to edit the confirmation type to a message, show form, or redirect them to a URL. A message is the default confirmation, and I'm pretty happy with it, but I will change the message to, your message was sent. Thank you for reaching out. Now click on save and then on embed. Now let's get into the second part of our process, embedding the form to your website. In the pop-up window, copy the short code given for your form. Once you do, close both the window and the editing page. Go to Pages on your menu and add a new one. In this top option, click on Short Code and paste the short code you copied for your form in the block that just appeared. Great! Now publish it and view your page. Then you'll be redirected to your website with a fresh contact form. Test it out, fill out the fields, and submit. Your confirmation message will let you know that the form has been sent. There you have it. The front end has been set up, but hold your horses. Where will your entries get sent to? 
We'll follow the process on how to configure the back end so that every entry arrives straight to your email. Any questions or comments? Feel free to let me know. See you next time. Want our accelerated learning program? Click this button and join the inner circle where you'll find seven tools to accelerate your learning on Burn to Learn.